Hi everyone, thanks for clicking. So obviously a lot of thought and effort goes into device testing and this video is just another piece to give you a little bit of a hint as to what that is. So we actually recently went to go visit a third party reverb chamber. It happens to be one of the larger ones in Ontario and is located in Ottawa. So we actually weren't really able to take any photos or videos while we were there. Uh, due to the sensitive nature of the testing that they do. This testing facility actually has six chambers, and two of which are full anechoic, four of which are reverb, and one of those reverb chambers can actually be converted into an anechoic chamber. That's how large it is. So I'm sure you've seen the videos that we've done already on anechoic versus reverb chamber. If you haven't, I'm going to post links to them below. We wanted to discuss with the engineers at these reverb chambers the benefits and drawbacks of each for the possibility of our product testing, as well as what kind of things they can do there that just seems really cool. The type of testing they do primarily uh, seems to be on air, um, airplane fuselage testing, so uh, wiring and insulation and the function of how well uh, those sections of plane and other devices like tanks and stuff can actually handle things like lightning strikes and if uh, the lightning and EMF, uh, the electromagnetic fields actually interfere with the function of those devices and those pieces of the plane. Uh, so they actually do, will take like wires and insulate uh, a type of coil around it and then run current through that that is the equivalent of an electrical storm and make sure that there is no interference. So the short answer is yeah, they're totally safe. Planes are safe. And that you probably don't actually need to turn your phone off when <laughs> to put your phone on airplane mode when you are flying um, because it actually doesn't and isn't going to interfere with any of the instruments. So the reason they probably do that is so that you'll pay attention to their safety videos and potentially maybe some like minor communication devices that they have on board the plane. That is for like communication within the plane, I'm sure. But of course, just continue to do what they say but it's not going to interfere with how well the plane flies. So why is a facility that can do this type of testing relevant to us in small device testing? Well, they actually can do relatively low power, uh, relatively low power testing across a broad frequency range. And uh, you can bet that we were probably a relatively unique experience for them at least as well. Perhaps in the future, we'll be able to do some slightly higher power testing. Uh, but you can hazard to guess that if your device is getting physically warm, you probably shouldn't be standing in that area either. So uh, thanks for sticking with us uh, and I hope you got a slight hint as to the really unique and really exciting experience that we got to have and stay safe out there.